Hi guys, welcome to the Daily Dose series of Tableau Visualization. This is Satyendra here and I'm going to cover today Web Data Connector in Tableau, right? What Web Data Connector is? Let's talk about that. Guys, whenever we connect to our data using Tableau Desktop, we get several options over here. The standard data sources which are available and provided by Tableau to connect your data, bring into Tableau Desktop and do visualization. But whereas thousands and millions of data connector which are available online, and we cannot connect to those using these standard data connections, right? I can take a few examples, right? Let's say there is a website which has you know, a lot of data on it, but we cannot connect to that website and get data here, right? Another example would be like you can use Python Web Scraper in order to get data from a website, but what you need to do is like you need to get the data first, then you need to define that in a schema, then you need to convert that data either into Excel or CSV file, and then you can connect using Tableau Desktop. So there are a number of several steps which are involved here, and then you will get your data into Tableau Desktop. But the flaw will always be there that it will not be the live data, right? In order to get the live data, you re you need to repeat those steps so that you can get data into Tableau Desktop, right? Keeping all these challenges and different type of you know mechanism in mind, Tableau provides you a way of connecting to your web data over HTTP protocol using Web Data Connector, right? As soon as you click on Web Data Connector, you get this window which exactly looks like as a Internet Explorer or Explorer where you can put your URL. It says also enter your web data connector URL here, right? So that you can connect to the data and then you can visualize over here. Guys, it doesn't, it is not as simple as it sounds here, right? I repeat again, it is not as simple as it sounds here, right? Now there are two portions to it. One is, using the existing web data connector which is either developed by somebody else or yourself itself right so as i said developed by yourself itself which means you can also develop a web data connector if you know html and javascript coding right if you know html and javascript coding you can create your own web data connector However, in case you don't know those things, you can utilize already developed web data connectors by different users. I can give you a way, I can give you a resource wherein you can go ahead and search number of community level web data connectors available and you can use them here, right? Even before I go there and show how to connect to a web data connector, let's talk about that what a web data connector is, right? I'll click on it, what is this? So as soon as you click over here, the Tableau leads you to the next page where it talks about that what Web Data Connector is. As I mentioned already that it is a HTTPS protocol through which you can get data into your Tableau desktop. Now in backend, what it utilizes is an API. An API, which is application programming interface or API of a particular application, web application, which interacts with the data in databases. Right, so in Web Data Connector, you interact with the existing API. It could be open or private. If it is private, you need to provide the authentication, then you will get the data. Or otherwise, if it is open, it will simply return your data either in JSON format or XML format, right? So as a part of your Web Data Connector, you interact with that structure either in JSON or HTML or XML, and then you get the schema of your data, right? Post getting the schema of your data, you get the data, and then you can exactly get that data in Tableau desktop in form of data extract, right? So that's the life cycle of Web Data Connector. You can explore these links over here. You will be able to kind of get all the information which is required in order to connect web data connector into Tableau, right? But if you, in case you are a developer, you need several things in order to develop a web data connector, right? In order to build a web data connector, what you need is the very first thing which is known as Tableau development platform, which will be in terms of 
w you know sdk wdc sdk you need to have that on your system and within that you will have you know uh, calling wdc sdk you need several few more things for example you need a server it could be iis or node.js or server or any other web server wherein you can deploy or publish your web data connector apart from that you need one running api it could be private or open and then you need several functions which you need to call out in your you know uh, software development kit WDC software development kit that would be get data, get schema, I need, and shut down, or basically done, you know, confirmation. So these are the several functions what you need to call in Web Data Connector. Once you are done with it, you can go back to your, uh, you know, SDK. I'll just open that in on my system. You can see here that I have downloaded SDK. I have several folder structures over here, like HTML and uh, JS. Under HTML, you will find several examples over here. And same goes with JSON. So I'll just open one of the JavaScript structure. So you can see I have like get schema. It gets the data in a proper schema for your tablet desktop. Then it gets data. And ultimately, it confirms whether you got the data or not. So done callback. These are the three basic functions what your JavaScript file needs to have and then you can get data for your web data connector, right? Now I'll go back to my Tableau desktop so that I can show you some of the available web data connectors and we can use that in our system. So I'll just go ahead and click on it, use a web data connector. I hope I'll get the repository here. If not, then I need to go to some other link. Yes, sure, I need to go to another link. Okay, community connectors. So this is on web data connector. Basically the first URL, what you get, what is this? So I'll go to community connectors. Over here you will get number of web data connectors created by people around Tableau community. You can explore any of those. I'll go ahead and look for some of them like this, right? You can see India COVID-19 data connector statewide summary. I'll just right click over here and I'll copy link address. I'll take this, we'll go back to Tableau desktop and put that URL here, right? Well, over here you can see that it exactly looks like as an URL, but yes, in terms of layman theory, there is an API embedded in it. We have formatted that schema, converted that data into the language or in a structure what Tableau can understand and we are connecting to that definition under this web data connector. I'll hit enter, we'll see our data. Here we go. So we can see that India COVID state-wise details, I have several columns over here. For example, active cases, confirmed cases, confirmed deaths, last updated date, then recovered and state. Over here, I don't see a proper date. Oh, let me convert that into date. I hope I get the date here. No, I am not getting the dates. Not a problem, right? It could be a mistake while developing this particular web data connector. Because I'm already utilizing, I cannot blame anything. I should not blame. I'll go ahead and go to my sheet and we'll see here like my state is already in form of geographic location. I do have date, but we had nulls over here. This, so don't worry. We have active cases, confirmed cases and deaths. So I'll just drag, select state, click on the map. So I'll get the Indian map over here. I can put state on color if we, if I wish to see a different color for each state. And then I can drag the number of active cases onto labels, right? It gives me a flexibility or, you know, um, a freedom to drag active cases on color as well, so that I would know basis the active cases, which states are on higher side. So my skill set says starting from zero to the maximum number here. And over here, you can see that Maharashtra is a state wherein we have the maximum number of cases, right? We really don't know that how old this data extract is. However, 
depending on the data when it was created, we have these numbers, right? We can go ahead and change this color scheme if I wish. We can give five stepped color, so we'll know some other states also. On top of this, we can definitely you know format our sheet and uh, we can refresh this extract anytime. So we'll see here, refresh, we'll get the latest data. But yes, that is how we kind of saw like what are the important components to our web data connector and how we can connect to a web data connector and get data into Tableau Desktop. So I think that's all for today's daily dose session. We'll meet again tomorrow to talk about next exciting topic. Till then, have a nice time. Stay safe. Thank you. Bye-bye.